our special guest. He's the owner of Fifth and Hall on Florida Avenue. We got Abdel Gonzalez with us tonight. Come on up. Fog machine. <laughs> so it's really nice to meet you finally. Um, so, so you, so if anyone doesn't know, he's opened up this brand new store on Florida Avenue. It's really fancy, um, and it's amazing. Um, how did that come to be? Like, how did you actually create this new store? Like, what what went into it? Like, what what did you want to? Uh, well, first, so about two years ago, I started working with Lakeland Magazine. You guys are familiar with the magazine. Um, <laughs> They, it's an awesome magazine. They've done some really great things for our community. But they brought me on to oversee all the style editing of, for the magazine. And as I, you know, as I was doing all these style editorials and working with the community, I realized there was a really big need for like a local store that um, that had some some fashion forward, specialized, trendy pieces of clothing to, that people can come shop and felt really exclusive because um, there wasn't really anything. Um, to really kind of go to as I was digging through, you know, the local store. So just after about a year and a half or so, I realized there was a really big need, and a lot of people were asking for this. Cool. Um, so that's kind of how it how it started. That sounds really. awesome. Um, I think it's really awesome that you have all like like a lot of your clothes are very rare or they're very limited as far as like the the styles that you choose. Mm -hmm. So it's like really fancy, guys. It's really fancy. It's like nice stuff. Um, so but wearable. But wearable. Yeah, but wearable. It's not like wearable. it's not like feathers everywhere. You right. know, it's not like that. That would be awesome, but it's not. Um, that would be really cool. You should do that. Have like a corner with just feathers everywhere. Um, but you're originally from Hawaii, right? I am. Yep. That's cool. When did you come to the the big the, the big the island? mainland? Yeah, the mainland. Uh, and whatnot. This was probably to uh, 1999, I want to say. Oh wow! Okay. So it's been a minute. I'm it's kind of a, like, like I'm a like a couple local minutes, now. I think. A few. Yeah. You just got here, right? Lo so. <laughs> so. I'm local. I consider myself a, a Lakelander now, but that's cool. That's mm -hmm. awesome. It's Since, since you say that, are there like things that you would classify as like things that would make you a Lakelander? Like, <laughs> like being robbed at three in the I, morning at Publix or something? Well, no, I think if you're a regular at Sunny's Barbecue, maybe, <laughs> which I am. Um, yeah. I haven't been there in a long time. I love Sunny's Barbecue. <laughs> um, knowing where you're closest, knowing your cashier at Publix, I think, would be one. Yes. I know four of them. Absolutely. And like my, my public cashier always asks about the latest issue of the Lakelander magazine. So we have a good five minute conversation about that usually. That's good. Mm. Um, is there any other, other than just like, I know you have the store, I know you're working at Lakelander. Are there other projects that you're working on right now? Uh, well, right now, it, the, the big focus has been, has been the store and really trying to make it as community focused as possible. Mm -hmm. it's, it's different when you have a retail clothing space when it's very, you know, it's very specific as for like who we're trying to target and, you know, who we're really wanting to welcome in the store. And we're trying to really create more of not just like it's a clothing store, but an, an outlet for local artists as well. And we, we always house local clothing designers, which mm -hmm. Lakeland, there's clothing designers here. And Whoa. yes, there is. And it's, it's been really fun to get to know them. And I, they're super excited to kind of use our store as a platform. And we don't charge anything to let, like if you're a local clothing designer, we want you to come in our space and sell your, your stuff. Um, and it's a really great outlet for them. Um, they, they make money. It's a really great promotional tour, um, tool. So we're trying to push that end of it. And hopefully as we get into our um, kind of like the fall season, really kind of opening it up to some high school students that are interested as well. Because right now it's mostly just kind of freelance um, artists at the moment. So Cool. I definitely yeah. think there's a big need for a lot of art mm -hmm. in the community. And there's a lot of things like studios that are opening up that are allowing artists to come in and do things within their space. And I think that's, that's awesome. That's amazing. Um, while you were putting this, this, um, this store together, like this, this venue together, were there any like hurdles that you had? Is there anything that you like, not necessarily regretted, but things that you could change <laughs> or uh, switch around if you, I think, if you could? I think so. So I currently am, I'm still a GM for Urban Outfitters. So mm -hmm. I still have a full-time job. Fancy. And I started Fifth and Hall as a mobile store. So back in 2015, we 
Um, my wife and I had just, you know, just I kind of hit like a midlife crisis when I turned 30. I know that sounds sick, but <laughs> but there it is. I think midlife crisis was starting a little sooner in life. But I just reached a point where I was like, I, I, I wanted more for myself at this age. And that's kind of where the store really birthed, just, just a lot of things mixed up. So we, we started as a mobile store, and our first pop-up was at Black & Brew right down the road here. Oh. And that was sort of our first introduction of like, this is the store, this is the concept, this is who we are. And from there, for about a year and a half, we just were a mobile store. We popped up at all the colleges, just different events throughout the area. And the tutor, yes. Yep. We were the tutor for like eight months. That was kind of like our, our temporary home for a while. Um, and then after about a year and a half or so, it just kind of became this, this monster in a good way where people were demanding that we be open regularly and we needed a storefront. And I think just that transition from mobile store to now a permanent store location became very real. And there was a lot of little hurdles as far as like now owning a business and all the yeah. little back logistic things that are, you know, nobody likes to do that are not fun. But that would probably be the biggest hurdle I say, just understanding the business back end of things. Um, um, but you know, now we're, I'm still learning and I still make mistakes, but it's all kind of part of it, I guess. That's cool. That's cool. Well, I'm glad you're doing as well as you are right now. That, I think you. the store is really cool. I don't know who's who's. I've visited the store. If you if you haven't visited the store, you should check it out. It's really really fantastic. Um, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna play a little game. Are you ready for a hold on to this challenge? I think I will be after one more sip of this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> No problem. Um, so the way this works is that I'm going to give you a couple questions. If you do well enough, mm -hmm. you will be able to win a prize for an audience member. Oh, good. This is some of the, the goodies I brought. Yeah, good. so okay. he brought some goodies for everybody, um, for one person specifically. Um, <laughs> but, uh, so, but normally what we do is we, do, we, we usually use the tickets. But in this sense, I think we should have been to someone. Um, what is your name? Abby? Nice to meet you, Abby. Right. Thank you for being brave enough to stand. This is good. <laughs> this is good. It builds character. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to play a game, and, the, and if you do well enough, we're going to win a prize for Abby over there. Let's okay? do it. Yeah, All right? It. We're going to do this. Now, the, the prize will be a select, uh, selected items from the store that Abdel brought and a Lakeland Live Magical 8-Ball for yourself to take home with you, okay? All right, it's magical. I'm telling you the truth. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna give you six questions, okay? okay. Now, since you work in rare and vintage brands, I'm gonna give you six questions that have to do with generic, regular brands, <laughs> okay? Okie dokie. Okay. Now, it does have a little trick to the questions. Each question will start with a letter of your name. So the first will start with an A, the second will start with a B, D, I, E, and L, okay? That's awesome. There's six okay. questions. You know how to spell your name, so this should be pretty easy. All right. Does that make uh, sense? I hope he knows how to spell his name. I, yeah. Okay, the first is, and do not shout out answers, it really ruins the effect. First is, these curiously strong breath mints were first produced in 1780 and is 189 years before the first moon, uh, first man walked on the moon. Altoids. Altoids is correct. I, uh, <laughs> I always have them on me. I'm a freak about my oral hygiene, so that was an easy one for me, so we're good. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> next one. Let's see if you have the rest of these. Right. <laughs> that was easy. Wait a minute. He's going to have all these. I hope he does. That would be cool. This is this adhesive bandage is used frequently in North America, though called a plaster or sticky plaster in the UK. Band-aid? Band-aids are correct. There you go. Okay. Abby, how am I doing? Good? Okay. Doing good so far. That's good. Here... Cast members that work at this Orlando theme park turn in more than 200 pairs of sunglasses to the lost and found each day throughout the year. Disney World. Disney World, correct. Awesome. And I, I may or may not have been tempted to like go to my lost and found and say I lost a pair of really expensive sunglasses. <laughs> Someone told me I could do that. I'm going to do that next you time said. now. That makes sense. They that are, sense. right? I want to be they challenged get a today. Harder. They get a little harder. In this, okay, so in 2012, there were an estimated 255, no, 655, much larger, million visitors to these stores, though it may have just been for the Swedish meatballs. Ikea. Ikea is right. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> now, originally introduced in 1963, this original toy used an ordinary incandescent light bulb 
as a heat source. <laughs> this also helped children to prepare edible confections. Oh. Easy bake oven. Easy bake oven. <laughs> <laughs> I secretly always wanted one, but my parents, yeah. <laughs> All right, this is the last one. This is number six. As you know, there's one less letter in your name. Indeed. While mimicking a flotation device, this five-flavored candy has had minimal changes for the past 70 years since 1935. Lifesaver. Lifesavers are right. All right. <laughs> All right, so Ben, how did Abdel do? Oh, he got every single question correct. <laughs> so I feel like you did well enough. You have won, Abby, your gifts that you brought with you today. I have. This is wonderful. Um, so, congratulations to Abby. That's awesome. Give a big round so of applause kinda, for Abby. Guess... Come on up, Abby. Okay, on so, up. one of the gifts, there's a, <laughs> I hope you're 21, I don't know, but there's a beer koozie, and... It's a beer, it's a beer koozie with, it's fake, it's fake There's beer. actual, there's, there's some diver down in there. Oh, shout out to Brew Hub. They always, they're like our drink sponsor. Anytime you shop at our store, you can have some free beer. Um, so we have cool. Diver Down and Sun Goes Down. So if you ever want to come shop our space and just kind of hang out with us, you'll have some free beer. So that was this, that's what this is. And really cool shout out. So this koozie is from a brand called Algae. And they are, he is a local uh, Lakeland native who went to Miami and started this huge fashion house. And this, we're the only ones in Central Florida that carry this brand. So he's from Lakeland. It's pretty awesome. Anyway, so that's that. And there's our, our tea in there too. Enjoy. Awesome. Thank you so much. All right. Ah. Everybody, everybody should check out Fifth and Hall on Florida Avenue, if you haven't already, if possible. Um, you're going to love this place. It's really, really cool. And please give it up for our special guest, Abigail Gonzalez. Thank you. Gonzalez.